The situation has been increasingly difficult in the last uh, few days because uh, hostilities and shelling has intensified. So there are many people suffering around, civilian population, and um, of course some parts of the city are affected. People cannot go around. It's, it's dangerous. Nowadays, it's very difficult to continue activities because of uh, the security situation in Donetsk itself. We are based in the city. We have our warehouses in the city. There are many places we want to assist along the front line and that we assisted previously that uh, are no longer accessible for, for us to go and deliver assistance to those in need. So we are currently in standby. Since we resumed activities in Donetsk, uh, we have been mostly distributing uh, food, hygienic items, some uh, essential household items like blankets, tarpaulin, plastic sheeting for house affected. Uh, we've been distributing more than 500 tons so far. We are planning to continue. We have also distributed um, eight trucks of construction uh, material already to renovate some damaged buildings. So we are planning to continue with the same kind of activities because there are many people that need this assistance and um, we are really committed to, continue, to continuing delivering this help as soon as the situation allows us to move around. Of course, we make contacts at the local level in the village or the city. We are planning to assist with the local authorities uh, that usually knows well what the situation is on the ground. Uh, we agree on them on categories or who are the most vulnerable people uh, in the location to assist. Uh, we cross-check the list with them, and then we deliver the assistance, and we monitor the process of the distribution. They are used to mobilizing the community, so there are some responsible in some of the districts of the city or the village that will warn the categories that will be assisted so that they can come to some uh, distribution points. So in some villages, we also, so in some villages, work with the local authorities. Some, in some villages, work both with them and the local Red Cross as well. We have uh, many people coming to see us at the office to explain about their needs, about their situations. We have an office phone that is uh, constantly ringing with people reporting about the situation in their respective locations. We also, when we go to deliver in villages, we do not, of course, only deliver. We also take the time to go around in the village, so to talk both to authorities, but also to local inhabitants, and usually they approach us as well to share about their situation. So definitely we have the opportunity to, to hear a lot about the, the current needs of the population in the area.